Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me today for another demonstration. We're going to be using our mystical sprays to create a really nice background and I'm just going to do like a bit of a floral uh, card today. So I have our watercolour card. I've cut that in sort of a DL size and I've got three different mystical sprays here. Okay, so I've got the Amber Green Kingfisher, but I've got the Acrylic Periwinkle Spray as well. So I'm going to combine those now on the card and I'm going to spritz with a little bit of water as well. So let's start with the lighter colour at the top. Give that a shake with it being the mysticals because we've got the mica at the bottom here but it's literally just a couple of shakes and it disperses. So the mica in this is super super fine. Um, okay let's move on to the kingfisher and now the periwinkle. I'm going to pop that down at the bottom. And then let's use our water and let it do its own thing. I just think the sprays are so quick and easy for an instant background. And I would always recommend um, doing a whole load of backgrounds first. As you can see, you can get into a little bit of a mess. So get all your backgrounds done, let them dry, and then you can stamp on them the next day. I'm going to start drying this off now. I am going to just spritz a little bit of water on the side here. And as I'm drying, I'm going to pick up the water in my fan brush brush and just add that over the top and you can see it gives you a slightly dappled effect it just breaks up that colour which is quite nice now remembering that the the mysticals are water reactive but the acrylic sprays aren't but I do find if you combine the two of them um, you do get a lift off the acrylic sprays as well so I'm just making sure that that is completely dry before we stamp and now we can think about what we want to stamp onto it I've got a couple of stamps here which I haven't used for a while. It's always good to pick the old ones back up again. So I'm inking up here in Twilight. And I'm going to pop that down at the bottom. And again, inking up. Down here. And then I'm now moving on to Warm Breeze. So, ink up, slightly different blue, a little bit lighter. I'm going to take off a little bit as well. And then I'm going to pop that down. So it's very much in the background. going to use our swirl stamp and this time I'm going to use some mica minerals so there's a mark in cap and then I'm going to just pop that down Just one more down here. 
like so. And then taking our lovely crystal gold. I'm going to pick that up and just take that over the top. And it just sits over the top of that Versa mark, just giving everything a little bit of a shimmer. Now, when you've stamped with Versa mark and you add the uh, mica mineral over the top, you don't need to set it, it's already set. And if it sticks to anything else, well. I think that's a bonus. I think that looks great. So moving on now, we've got some Silhouette Thistles here, which again I've not used for a while. I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And because I'm putting the thistles at the top here, I don't want a dead end where, the, where they finish here. So I'm going to just dab off slightly. And I'm going to add those really quite tall at the top. And I'm going to do that again in cup. And I'm going to dab off the bottom again. And you can see here how it just disappears. Okay, and we didn't want that definite line. And it's just a good way of making things sort of look a little bit more natural. So I'm going to pop that down round about there. Give another press. Okay. So something you can do if you feel that the lines are too harsh, I've just got a Posca pen here. I'm going to follow that line and just bring in those stems a little bit further down, very lightly. Which I think just balances it a little bit more again. I've got a nice worded stamp here. This time I'm going to ink up in the twilight. And I'm going to pop that down there. And I'm going to use the mica minerals over the top. And all that is is because the Versafine Claire Twilight is a slightly darker colour. Because it's not clear, you get that lovely mica but the background is slightly darker. Okay, it's still set, it's still sticking to it. When I sweep that over the top, you can see there is still that sparkle, so it's still stuck solid. So that's just another way to use the micas. Okay, so finishing off now, I've got my Posca pens here. I'm just gonna add a few little orbs round and about. They stand out so well against any dark background. I think they look great. And let's move on to this pen. 
This is one of our new ones, new colours. Love this colour. Can't ever have enough um, Posca pens. Um, I just use them in absolutely everything, as you know that I do. I think it's because they're opaque. They sit on top of any colour. You don't lose them. And lastly, a little bit of white. And we're going to finish there. I hope you can see that gorgeous background and those colours work so nicely together. Real sort of mystical background. Well guys, there we have it. Thank you so much for joining me again today for another demonstration. I hope it's inspired you to have a go and um, until the next time, you take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.